Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. It's Wednesday and I usually talk about mental health or personal growth during this day. And today I want to talk to you guys about something that my husband doesn't even really know much about. Let's get started and talk about it. I'm going to get into why I really didn't like Christmas much growing up. So let me get started on why. You guys know I grew up in Minnesota. At the beginning when I was a child, I really enjoyed Christmas growing up. I remember it being kind of a simple time, and I remember we had a tree with all different kind of homemade cute ornaments, and it just was, we lived in a little three bedroom, one bath rambler. I just remember it was a very simple time, and I really enjoyed it. I remember that our life started changing and transforming in the late 70s when people started moving to bigger homes and wanting more out of life. And I felt like the more that we all kept up with the Joneses, the less quality of life that we had and the more financial stress we had in our life. Let me start by saying that first. And I remember that mostly late 70s, early 80s is when this was most prevalent. A turn happened in our life regarding Christmas. When I grew up, like I told you, we had the same tree with all sorts of homemade ornaments. Well, I noticed that as I was getting a little bit older, maybe junior high, like beginning of junior high, maybe when I was about 13 or so, I remember that the reason why I wasn't enjoying Christmas as much is because my mom was stressed out a lot at Christmas. First of all, every year we had a, quote, themed tree. My mom basically told us, and my mom was a good person. She was a wonderful wife and mother. She kept the house really clean and neat. She put on wonderful meals. She did a fabulous job. So I'm not speaking ill of my mom, just to let you guys know that first. There's a lot of positive qualities about my mom. But my mom was a perfectionist and wanted everything just so. And I remember we went from having the tree with all these mixed matched ornaments to having a themed tree every year. And sometimes my mom would change it and she would kind of get tired of it, but every ornament had to match. And then I remember my mom didn't really enjoy the homemade ornaments very much anymore, and I don't know what she did with them, but that was one of the things. We actually had more than one Christmas tree in our house. And I remember that, I also remember part of the reason I didn't enjoy Christmas was that we would send out multiple cards. I remember my mom sending out, I don't even know, but over 100 Christmas cards a year, and my mom would get upset if somebody wouldn't send a card back or if she felt that they sent a less expensive card. We had our cards done. They were really beautiful. I think they might have even been engraved or embossed or something, if I remember correctly. And so it just seemed, and then what would happen sometimes is at Christmas, somebody would send us a card that my mom didn't send a card to, and she'd say, oh, I got to hurry back and send them a card. And that happened a lot with Christmas. This is the main thing that made Christmas kind of stressful for me is that sometimes my mom would have a list of people she wanted to give gifts to and she would try to make sure that she didn't spend less than what she thought somebody was going to spend on her that was number one number two if somebody gave a present to her it would really stress her out if she didn't have a present to give back to them and I do understand how that feels for me if I gave someone a gift and they don't give me something back or say thank you it doesn't even bother me I give something because I really want to give it, and I don't expect anything in return, even a thank you. I just want to give because I want to give. But my mom, on the other hand, it would really bother her to receive a gift and not give something back. And I have to be honest, that still bothers me to this day. I would, I would feel kind of guilty, and I, I don't know if any of you feel this way. If someone gives you something, you weren't planning on giving them something, and you don't have a gift to give back to them, you feel kind of bad. Tell me if any of you feel that way or if you've had that happen. So that was something. And then my mom had a bunch of people that she was exchanging gifts with that she didn't even want to exchange with. And by the way, guys, you may hear motorcycles and dirt bikes going up and down the street. Please ignore that noise. <laughs> Thank you. But anyway, um, so it was the gift giving got to be really, really stressful. And then every single year, my mom would say, we're going to cut back. But yet we wouldn't. And my dad would really want to cut back on gift giving. He said, you know, we don't need to do all this. We can cut back. We can keep it simple. And so it was kind of, you know, stress between my folks too, because my dad really wanted to cut back and keep it simple and didn't see why do we need to exchange all these cards? Why do we need to exchange all these gifts? Maybe just do something for family, eat a simpler meal, 
you know, and just enjoy the time together. We don't need to do all this. But I really felt growing up, my mom wanted the nicer quality wrapping paper, nicer cards, and it just felt like no matter what we did, it was never enough. And so it, it, after a while, it just really got me stressed out. And then I remember the day after Christmas, I mean, I'm not kidding you, my mom could not wait to get all the Christmas decorations down. She says, oh, I've just had enough Christmas this year. I just, you know, she wanted to put everything up and where it belonged and get it all taken down right away. So I kind of felt like I never really got to enjoy the season. Now, when I was a little girl, I enjoyed it because it was simpler. And I'm not sure what happened over the years, but I kind of felt like in the later 70s and beyond, in the 80s, people, it seemed in our neighborhood anyway, were wanting more out of life. But the more you got, it just seemed like the more stress it added. And there was just a lot of expectations and obligations, which creates a lot of stress. And I thought about that. And I'm actually going to do a video on not what I've learned, but what I need to unlearn. And I realized that even though I didn't think all of this affected me this much, one of my friends pointed out to me, she said, Dawn, you say you're going to cut back every year, but you never really do. And it's kind of true. Yes, I pay cash for Christmas. That's not a problem. But I kind of feel a little bit like my mom did, that no matter what you do, it's never enough. That you just feel like, well, are they going to be happy with this? Is it enough? Am I doing enough? How do I know I'm doing enough for somebody? How, am I, how do I know I'm giving enough? cooking enough you know and it is it puts a lot of strain and stress I know I've said this to you guys before but I do really believe in many ways I would almost rather for holidays go and spend time with people that really need something need some food need some things in their life and give back to those that are really truly in need because there's many people out there that do and I want to mention something about my mom and my father now my dad is 83. My mom, a few years ago, I think she was in her late 70s, she passed away. And my dad and I do not exchange any gifts at all. Now, I do give my dad things. If I get together with him maybe once a year, I might buy them, and sometimes twice a year, but not obviously right now. But I definitely might buy him a meal, or he buys me a meal. And during the year, I might, you know, send them um, a package of fruit or, you know, some nuts or popcorn that he really likes, things like that, just because, not because you have to do it. But with the whole holiday giving, birthday giving, any kind of thing, could be wedding gifts, anything, it just feels like there's so much obligation out there. And I think it puts a lot of strain and stress on a lot of folks especially if you feel like you're competing against others and you just aren't doing enough. And I remember growing up feeling this way, even though I've really worked hard to change this in my own life, I think some remnants of some of this from my childhood has kind of latched onto me. And that's why I kind of want to do a little bit of a series on things that we may need to unlearn in our mind or habits we may have that we don't even realize that might be from years and years from back when we were a child that we don't realize that we're carrying into our adult life. Let me know if any of you feel this way about any kind of holiday giving, if any of you have had these feelings. One other childhood uh, experience that I had, and I want to share this real quickly. I remember that we were going to have guests over for dinner. They came unexpected. This was during Christmas. And my mom said, oh my gosh, I know they're going to be bringing us gifts. We don't have any gifts for them. And I remember my mom saying, does anyone have any of your gifts that you'd be willing to give up from your stash of gifts so we could wrap it up and have something to give? And I'm just like, I just remember that thinking, oh my gosh, it just, it was very stressful. And I just remember this from when I was a child. I hope you guys don't mind me sharing all of this with you. I just think that there's many things that maybe we grew up with, whether it's childhood, young teens, you know, thoughts that we really believe that we take on in our, to our adulthood and we really want to change and we think we're changing, but some of those feelings are still there. So let me know if you guys feel that way. Just remember that we are enough and I think we're a gift in ourselves. I think we should each wrap ourselves up and give ourselves to people because I think we're all a gift. What do you guys think? I'm going to just end with saying that. That's all for now. This is Money Mom signing off and as always, I love you. Bye-bye.